Ever wondered why transformers are rated in VA instead of kilowatts? Well, it's not just a random choice. There's sound engineering thought behind it. And today, we're going to delve into that. Transformers, as you may already know, transfer power from one circuit to another without changing the power's value or frequency. They can step up or step down the value of current and voltage with the power and frequency remaining constant. But when it comes to losses, transformers experience two types of losses, copper losses and iron losses. Copper losses depend on the current passing through the transformer's winding, while iron losses depend on voltage. Therefore, total losses depend on both voltage and current, which are expressed in volt ampere or VA, not on the load power factor. This is why the transformer's rating is expressed in VA or KVA, not in watts or kilowatts. But why is the transformer rated in VA instead of kilowatt? Well, when manufacturers design a transformer, they're unsure about the exact load that will be connected to it. This load could be resistive, inductive, capacitive, or a mix of these. Each type of load results in a different power factor at the secondary side, which further depends on resistance, inductance, and capacitance. This is why the transformer's rating is expressed in VA instead of Watt. Let's break it down with an example. Consider a single-phase step-up transformer with a rating of 11 kVA, primary voltage of 110 volts, and primary current of 100 ampere. Secondary voltage is 220 volts, secondary current is 50 ampere, equivalent secondary resistance is 5 ohms, and iron losses are 30 watts. In first scenario, if we connect a resistive load to the secondary of the transformer at unity power factor, then total losses of transformer would be copper losses plus iron losses, that is I square R losses plus iron losses, putting the values it becomes 12.53 kilowatts, and the transformer output will be P equals to V into I into cos phi by putting the values it becomes 11 kilowatts while transformer rating is 11 kVA. Now, in second scenario, connect a capacitive or inductive load to the secondary of the transformer at power factor, cos phi equals to 0.6. Again, total losses of transformer would be copper losses plus iron losses, that is, I square R losses plus iron losses putting the values, it becomes 12.53 kilowatts and the transformer output will be P equals to V into I into cos phi. By putting the values, it becomes 6.6 .6 kilowatts. While transformer rating is 11 kVA, it means that the transformer can handle up to 11 kilowatts. It is our turn to transform and utilize the 11 kVA as 11 kilowatts. We can do it by improving the power factor to 1 which is not predictable and even very hard to get in case of inductive and capacitive loads where the power factor would have different values. From the example, it is clear that the rating of the transformer is same 11 kVA but different output in power 11 kW and 6.6 .6 kW. Due to different power factor values after connecting different kind of loads, which are not predictable for transformers manufacturers where the losses are same in both cases. So, to sum up, a transformer is rated in VA or KVA because its losses depend on both voltage and current, irrespective of the load power factor. This rating provides a more accurate representation of the transformer's capacity and ensures its efficient and safe operation. Remember, in the world of transformers, it's all about the voltage and the current, and that's why we rate them in VA. As like a transformer, the rating and capacity of alternators and generators, stabilizers, UPS transmission lines are also rated in VA instead of Watt, while power plant capacity, AC, air condition and motors are rated in Watts rather than VA. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for notifications and let us know in the comments if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos. Until next time, stay electrified.